Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a baby names that you probably haven't heard of and two names. So the boy name and the girl name are both names that we are going to use for baby number three. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lindsay and we have two little girls right now. I have an almost three year old named Blake, Blake Audrey. I have a one-year-old named Olivia May, and we will be trying to conceive our third baby honestly any time now, but probably not till all of this craziness is over. So we're probably thinking more like um, July, August, roughly. So I thought, obviously, anything TT seeing and baby names is just on our minds right now. So I thought I would give a list of some baby names that we love. And a lot of these are definitely different. And some of them I don't think you guys have even heard of. A lot of them are, are out of the top 1000. Obviously, I don't know, I'm kind of in between because Blake is very uncommon for a girl, yet Olivia for a girl is very common. So I kind of like unique, but I also like ones that are common as long as they're pretty and they flow and they match my child. So, um, but yeah, these, I tried to make these more unique and outside of the top 1000 so if you guys like baby name videos give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the video so i think we're going to start with boy names i have one two three four five six seven eight boy names and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten girl names i couldn't come up with another boy name um but that's okay so we're gonna start i'll do like a boy and then a girl a boy and a girl Actually, no, we'll do, we'll do all boy and then we'll do all girl. I'll start with the boys because I actually think that our third baby will be a boy. So let me know if I'm right. If this is the future, <laughs> if this is an old video, let me know if I'm right. So the first name my husband actually is obsessed with and he begged me, like begged me to name our child this and it's Matthias. So M-A-T-H-I-A-S. I'm not sure what the origin of Matthias is, but he heard it through his brother um, and he's just obsessed with it. He thinks it's like the coolest name for a boy and the most manly name and I don't not like it. I just don't like it for my boy if we had a boy, but I do think it's kind of cool. I've never heard of another Matthias. Um, oh, sorry, not Matthias. It's Matthias. Matthias. See, uh, this is why I don't like it too, because when you look at it, you think Matthias, but it I guess it could be Matthias or Matthias. Colin likes it pronounced Matthias. Um, I think it's a little bit too complicated, and I think he would get a lot of Matthias, because I just called it Matthias, but it's Matthias. So Colin thinks it's like the most, you know, badass name he's ever heard in his entire life, so he wants that for a boy. Me, not so sure. Not my favorite name, but it's definitely unique, and it's a very strong masculine name. Let me know in the comments down below if any of you have ever heard of the name Matthias or Matthias whatever. So if you guys have been following my other two baby name videos and my journeys, TTC journeys with the other girls, you'll know that one of our top names for boy is Elijah. And that would be like on the birth certificate, but we would call him Eli. That is just my favorite name. I feel like it's, it's actually not that common. I don't know any other child named Eli. Um, but I don't think it's so rare and unique that it's like, what, what did you name your child? It's, I don't know. I just love that name so much. And you could have, um, I think the Austrian version is Elias, which is kind of like Matthias. So you could do Elias or you could do Elijah or you can just do Eli, but I prefer Elijah and we would call him Eli. I just think Eli John Hutterer. Like that's so cute. I love the name Eli. It's probably going to be our boy name, not going to lie. <laughs> I love that name. So the next one is not in the top 1000, and that is the name Langston. And I thought it was kind of cool. It's very similar to like a Landon or a Lincoln. So if you like those names and you just want a little bit of a different variation, Langston could be for you. Um, I think it's really cute. I think it's cute for a little boy like Langston. Like I think it's really cute, and it's just... I don't know, I can picture a little boy named Langston, but I can also picture like a very 
tall, you know, dark, handsome, maybe blonde, handsome, whatever, guy named Langston. Like, hi, my name's Langston. Like, that's pretty cool. I really do like that name and it's different. So if you do like Landon or Lincoln and you're looking for a different variation, Langston might be for you. So this next name is also not in the top 1,000. Actually, the next two names are not. And that is Henley. And I actually like Henley for a girl. But they're say on this website that I found it, they're saying it's more masculine. So you could have a boy named Henley, but I think a girl named Henley is so stinking cute. But our last name is Hutterer, so I don't know if I would want a Henley Hutterer, but I think Henley is really cute for a boy or a girl. So I'm going to say this is more like a unisex name. I've never heard of it before. I don't know any Henleys out there. I think it's really cute for a little boy or a little girl. Um, I think it's more girly though. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, but it's definitely giving me more of a feminine vibe, I guess, because the like Henley, but Henley is really cute for a girl. So, okay, we'll la leave that to the girl section, but I think that's a really, really cute. The next name is Garrison. So I guess like Harrison, but Garrison. So I guess this is just like a twist on the traditional Gary or Harrison. So Garrison. Um, I think it's kind of cool, Garrison. It's not something that I myself would pick, but I do think it's a nice name. I think it's very distinguished, um, but I don't know any Garrison, so let me know if you guys like that name. So now into our other future potential boy names. I love, 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 love the name Ford for a boy. I think that is so cute. There's only one Ford that I know of. Um, and I think it's the cutest name in the entire world. Colin said, absolutely not because he's a GM guy. So we can't have a baby named Ford. <laughs> but I love the name Ford. I think it's so masculine, but simple. And oh, I don't know, I just, I absolutely love it. Like I get goosebumps when I think of that name. So if you guys have never heard it before, I think it's a great name for a boy. Ford is so cute. I wish he would let me name our son Ford because I love that name. I think it's so strong and so masculine. I just really like it. So the next two, there's two more names, and the next two I also really like and would definitely consider. Uh, the one is Henry, and the reason I love Henry is because my grandfather, um, his name was Henrik, he was Polish, so I really like kind of the ode to him, like to my grandfather, and I think Henry is so cute for a little boy as well as an adult male like it's such a strong masculine name but it also sounds really cute if there's a little boy like in a little blue jean jacket and little jeans and little work boots and his name's and he's like I'm Henry oh my god I love the name Henry it might be Henry too I'm not too sure Eli Henry <sighs> I don't know I don't know it's hard to pick I have to wait till I'm pregnant and see but I love the name Henry so now those are all the boy names. I did have another one, but I actually scratched it off my list. Um, I do like the name Christian, but I don't think I would use it for our child, but it is a very nice name. Um, and I do, I do like it. And you could call him Chris instead of Christian or like Chris for short, but I do like the name Christian. It's just not something that we would use. So our names, we might use Eli, Henry, or Ford. Those are my top three. Our future son will be named one of those three if we have a boy. Now into the girl names, and I actually really like Henley for a girl. I really like that name, but anyways. So, sometimes I'm like, I mean, I would love a boy, but I would love to have another girl, like three girls, yes please. So, probably one of the top names, and she very well might have this name if we have another girl, is Reese. I love the name Reese for a girl. The only other Reese, that I know of that's a female is Erin Williams's Erin Williams's daughter um but other than that I have never heard it for a girl and I think it's other than obviously Reese Witherspoon but I mean like in Blake's like gymnastics class or like friends of mine that have kids I don't know any other Reese's so I love that name and when they're little you can call them like Reesey PC and like I don't know I just think it's so it's such a nice name and I think it's so cute for a little girl, so I don't know. We definitely might be using Reese if we have a third girl, because I love that name. So the next name, the, the next couple are not in the top 1,000. So the next one is Maisie. So it's like Daisy, but Maisie. And I think this one is really, really cute. I actually really, really love the name Daisy for a girl. However, I think it might be 
difficult as an adult woman named Daisy um, to be taken, you know, seriously. Um, I think it's a beautiful name and like obviously I would take someone, I'd take anybody seriously, but like I've heard people say that their name is Daisy and they, they don't like it when they reach adulthood. But for a little girl named Daisy, I thought it was cute. But Maisie, I think Maisie is more mature. So when, if you have an adult woman named Maisie, I think that's really cute. I really like it, especially for a little girl. So I just think it's really pretty. So Maisie is the next, is the name that I like for a girl. I'm all over the place, y'all. I'm so sorry. The next name is something that I know my husband will like because he loves the name Emma, like loves the name Emma. But this is Emmeline. So it's like Emma and Emily had a baby and it's Emmeline. And I think that's really beautiful because you could call her Emily for short. You could call her Emmeline or you could call her Emma. And it's just a little bit different. I've, I don't think I've ever heard of an Emmeline. I've heard of Emily and Emma, but not Emmeline. So if you do like Emma and Emily, but those are a little bit too common for you, Emmeline might be your choice. The next name that is not on the top 1000 is Etta. E-T-T-A, like Etta James. Um, I think it's really pretty. I think it's very vintage. If you like like vintage old school names, Etta is really, really cute. It's not something I'm nuts about. I don't really think it flows with Blake, Olivia, and Etta. I think it's it doesn't flow, so I can't, absolutely cannot do it. But I wanted to put it in this video because I do think it's really pretty, and it's something different, and um, I really like vintage names as well, so I thought you guys might like that one too. Okay, so the next name is Marlo. I think Marlo is so pretty. It's a variation of Margo, like Margot Robbie, but Marlo. I think it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And actually, one of my best friends, if she she has three boys, and she's when she was pregnant with her third boy, before she found out he was a boy, she said if it's a girl, she was gonna name her Marlo. And I just think it is so like it sounds like a movie star name, like Marlo Hutterer or like Marlo. Jones or whatever your last name is. I think Marlo is so distinguished and pretty and classy and classic and just it's beautiful. I love the name Marlo. So this next name that I obviously love as well but it doesn't really flow as much with Blake and Olivia is Indy. I love the name Indy for a girl. It does make me think a little bit of um Indiana Jones but I think it's so cute. I think it is the cutest girl's name. I just love Indy. Blake, Olivia, and Indy. I mean, it kind of flows. I'm not too sure. Let me know what you guys think, but I think Indy is so cute. My mom hates it, and it's funny because I actually can't pick a name that my mom doesn't like. It's really weird, but I think Indy is so cute, so unique. It could, I think it's very much unisex, but I love it for a little girl. I think Indy is just, I just picture like a little tomboy, like girl, kind of like Blake. Blake's a bit of a tomboy. So I love that name. Indy is so cute. So the next name that I also love that my mom hates, and I can't probably use it, but it's adorable, is Sailor. I think Sailor for a girl is so cute. I love that name. It's very unique. I only know one other girl named Sailor. And I just think it's really pretty and it's not in the top 1000 and I don't know. I just really like Sailor. So baby girl name number two that it probably would be if we did not go with Reese is Ivy. Now Ivy is, is in the top, I think it's in the top 100 or top 10. It's a very classic old school name but I just love the name Ivy. I feel like Olivia could have been an Ivy. Like when I look at her, I'm like, you totally could have been an Ivy. I think it's so pretty and so classic and just a little girl named Ivy. It just, I just think it's so cute. And even like as an adult woman, like, hi, my name's Ivy. Like it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. So I think a girl's gonna either be Reese or Ivy because I love those names. <laughs> I really love them so so much and then we've got a couple more there's oh two more so the next name I love for a girl is Lola I think that is the most beautiful name to be named Lola like it's so pretty the only thing is I know a lot of people and they have a female dog named Lola 
but that still wouldn't discourage me. I think Lola is so pretty. I don't think it's a dog's name. Um, I just happen to know a lot of people that have that as a dog's, as a female dog name, but I think Lola is so pretty and so cute, and it's just, I don't know, I just absolutely love that name. It's so beautiful. And the last name is Logan. I really like Logan for a girl, and you can call her Lo, um, but my best friend doesn't like that name. She was like, you cannot name your child Logan. So because she doesn't like it that much, I can't do it. <laughs> but I love the name Logan. I think it's so pretty. I think it's so cute for a boy. And like Blake, Olivia, and Logan, I think it just kind of works together. But I don't know. We'll see. I really like Reese and I love Indy and I love Ivy. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. If we have a girl, should her name be Reese? So Blake, Olivia, and Reese. Ivy, Blake, Olivia, and Ivy, or Indy, Blake, Olivia, and Indy, or if we have a boy, and if we have a boy, should it, my camera cut me off, so if we have a boy, would you name your boy, do you think our boy should be Eli, Henry, or Ford, and also what about Henley for a girl, but Henley Hutterer, Blake, Olivia, and Henley, I don't know. I don't know. Y'all, I need your help because I don't know. Let me know what your favorite names are, what you think our future boy or girl, what their name should be, or you know what? If we have twins, I'm screwed because I have no idea why we would name twins. And funny enough, my dad is a twin, so I have a very good chance. Colin and I have a very good chance of having twins. Very good chance. So that would be interesting. We'd have four children. <laughs> Oh, I would be so that would honestly be such a blessing. But anyways, I love you guys. Let me know what names are your favorite and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.